Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we are going to see how to serve result to a file. Now, to do that, I'm going to go to the terminal. <coughs> and first, we are going to go to the desktop. To change the directory, we put cd desktop. So it's going to go to the desktop. <coughs> desktop right here. And it went to the desktop. So now we are in a desktop the next thing is i'm going to see the directory details ls so it's it's showing all the things that we have in desktop you can see coffee lab one and lab one java all of them are in the desktop now here we are what we are going to do is we are going to save all of these things and also if you look at pwd pwd is basically the directory and uh, it shows the directory we are in right now let's see how we can serve the all these things in a file now to save this one what we have to do is first i'm going to save this ls things in a file to save ls details in a file i put ls ls and greater than sign and whatever the file we want to put it in now i'm going to create a new file let's call this one as bus bus and the file is going to be created and ls is going to be served over there if you open this bus file you will see whatever we have in ls ls is served in this file also if you write like let's close this one if you write pwd pwd and greater than sign and put bus now the whatever the things that is in bus is going to be replaced uh, by the new new thing the new things pwd it's going to be pwd is going to be replaced by in the bus file before we had ls now it's going to be replaced now how we can keep both of them like first we put ls okay ls in bus and uh, that's it that's going to be ls right now how can we stick the pwd under this one now let's see how to do that to do that one what you have to do is again you put pwd but if you want both of them together since we have all ls is already there to include pwd with that you have to put a double greater than sign and then you have to write the file name bus now you can see both of them will be there and that's how we serve result to a file. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And if you're trying to learn Linux system, there are a bunch of videos are coming up. I hope you guys watched that too. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.